Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some uh, file management that you're going to need for making your websites. So this is brand new into web development, and I've already got my software set up that I'm, that I'm going to be using here. Uh, I've got Notepad++ installed, which is a free and very good uh, HTML code editor. And I'm also going to be using FileZilla, uh, FileZilla client, and I'm going to use this connect to connect to my web server, and I've got that installed and ready to go. But file management is incredibly important. Um, it seems most most students who have trouble, especially early on in web development, file management is always in the area. So I want to stress that here. Now, when you're working with making a website, uh, the files are super important. Obviously, you're going to have maybe multiple HTML files. And every web page you create, every web page is an HTML file, hypertext markup language. And in addition to those web page files, you're also going to have some related files. Uh, for instance, images. That's a real obvious example. Um, if, uh, if a single web page has five different images, has five different images, then you're going to end up with six total files. You'll have your one web page file, and then you'll have your five image files. Now, if you're using a style sheet to control the look of this web page and images, then you're going to have a seventh file. You're going to have your HTML web page file. You're going to have your one style sheet file. And then you're still going to have those five image files. So it doesn't take long for a web page to start to include many many files and so you want to kind of keep these organized as simple as possible so what I've done here first is I've created a folder and this folder is where I'm going to keep all of my web page work so if I open it up right now it is simply an empty folder and this folder is going to have all of my HTML files in it it's going to be and I'm going to consider it my root folder now within this folder I'm going to make some subfolders and that's actually a little bit off the recording there so let me just move this up a little higher so I'm just gonna click on new folder and I'm gonna create a folder here called uh, images so I have a folder called images I have another folder here called uh, styles and that's a pretty good start now if I had a special pr and that would be a pretty good place to go. Now, if I had a special category or a special project or part of my website, then I might make a subfolder for that, too. Um, new folder. Let's say I'll just go ahead and call this. Um, maybe it was like a store or something like that. I would have a folder for that. Now, you'll notice that my folder names are all lowercase and no spaces. And that's a good practice that I'd like you to, uh, to, to do. Uh, all lowercase and no spaces for all folder names and all files related to your website. Now you'll notice my parent folder, Web Development, up here that has capital letters and a space. That one's okay because I'm not publishing my Web Development folder. What I'm doing is I'm going to be publishing all the files and folders within my Web Development folder. It's going to make a little bit more sense in just a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take out that store folder. Don't really read that. Need that right now. But I have my images folder and my styles folder. And within here, I'm going to have some HTML files. Let's go ahead and try one real quick. I'm going to go ahead and pop open my, uh, my editor. I'll delete that and just type up a, a super quick web page. There we go. So I've got a plain web page here. I've got the doc type definition for HTML5. This tells the browser which version of language I'm using. I've got an opening HTML tag with language English US. I've got a head section for my page. Within the head section, I've got a meta character encoding tag. This is basically the conversion of the style of conversion, let's so to speak, for my text into some binary code. And then I've got the title of my page. This is going to show up in the title bar of the browser or actually in the tab on the on the browser. The body of my page Here's the body section. It only contains one thing, a heading one or a headline one home page index. I'm going to go ahead and save this page. So I'm going to hit save as. And let's see, I'll go ahead and save this over to my desktop into my web development folder. And I'm going to put this right here in the root, my web development folder. And I'm going to call this index.html. 
the home page is always called index.html. And I'll go ahead and click Save. There we go, so it's been saved. Now, you can see that I've got this file, index.html. Now I'm going to publish it. And to publish it, I'll need to open up my FileZilla editor. There's my FileZilla. And I also need to put in my, my login information. Now, if you're one of my students, then I've provided login information to you. And I sent you an email a little bit earlier with the necessary host information, username, and password to log in. If you're not one of my students and you'd like some uh, login, some hosting, then that'll cost a little bit. And there's some information down in the description of the video where you can get some, uh, find out where to go to get web hosting and also a, uh, a discount code for, uh, for the first year. So if I did provide you some hosting information as part of the class, then you'll enter that information up here at the top. Host, username, and password. Those are the only three pieces of information you need. Host, username, and password, and then click Quick Connect. There we go, so I'm logged in. So I'm using WebDev 188 as my host. Now when I first log into FileZilla, I'm not in the right spot. This is not where I'm gonna publish my web pages to. So instead, I'm going to go into this folder, WebDev 188. This is where my web page, uh, my web page files are going to go. Now you can see I've already got some stuff in there. It's some things that I made a little bit uh, uh, a number of months ago, back in the summer. I'm going to go and take all of these files, select them, and delete them. I'm going to delete those files. So now my web space is empty, and you could actually verify this. If I went over to my browser, let me go ahead and do that real quick. I'll just bring a Chrome browser over here. webdev188.cc webdev.org. And this web page is blank. There's nothing there. Now, if I go to FileZilla, go to my desktop, go to my web development folder, I can see that I've got three things that I can publish. I can publish my index.html, and I can just click and drag that over. I could also publish these two folders that are empty. I'll publish those two folders also so they're ready to go. So I'll have my web page there. And now that I've done that, my web page is published. If I go back to my browser and hit refresh, you'll now see that I've got my home page index. So what you see when you go to my web address, this WebDev 188 address, is you're seeing my index.html file. When a file is available with the file name index.html, the web browser is going to display it. Now if I have other files, then I have to make hyperlinks to those files, and that's what web development is all about, and that's stuff we'll get into in the coming weeks here, is making multiple HTML files that all link to each other, and many, if not all, of those web files will refer to images that are stored in our images folder. And practically all of those pages will refer to style sheets that are stored in my styles folder. Now something else I'd like to stress, in fact, let me arrange these by file name. There we go. I want you to notice that how my web development folder, my local web development folder on my computer, looks just like the folder and file structure over here on my web server. I'm going to stress that over and over again. You want the file and folder structure on your local computer to match exactly the file and folder structure on your web server. Super important for making your life easy. So everything is all matched up. If I were to create a new folder over here locally, then I, wanna, I want that same new folder over here. So for instance, let's say I was creating a new folder, create directory, vacation all lowercase no spaces and let's say this folder was going to con going to contain web pages and images just related to a, a vacation that's perfectly reasonable to do I want to have that same folder over here so I have two ways to go about it I can right click and create a directory on the server using FileZilla or notice I just click the double arrows to go up one level or I can take this new vacation folder and drag it right over and there it is now everything matches up so you want things to match up 
And that's about it. Now you're going to be doing this a lot, so you'll get lots of practice. So don't forget the information you need to log into your web host was provided via email if you're in one of my classes. And if you need web hosting and you're not in one of my classes, then um, check out the uh, the link in the, uh, the, the, the discount code down in the description for the video. Talk to you soon.